Congratulations on the purchase of your Explorer Forward Fold. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the main tent. The first thing you wanna do is find a nice level flat spot to set up your trailer. Once you've done that, put the jockey wheel down and apply the handbrake before you uncouple your vehicle. Once that's done, use the jockey wheel to adjust the front to back level aspect of the trailer. To raise or lower it with the jockey wheel, you can use a leveling phone app or spirit level on the drawbar and just get it level, ready to go. Now we can put down the stabiliser legs. To lower the stabiliser legs, you'll need the speed brace. So grab that out of the camper first. Then to unlock it, grab the end of the stabiliser leg, take the weight off it, pull the handle out and drop it down. Once it's down, make sure the handle locks back in. Then put the brace on, wind it down to the ground. Once it's down, you can use the stabiliser leg to level the camper from left to right. But remember, don't wind it up all the way and take the full weight with the stabiliser leg because they're not designed to do it. All they're there to do is keep it stable and level it to a slight degree. In readiness to set up the main tent, open up the pole bag and get out four number 12 poles. These are a spreader pole with a C-clip at either end and two number six poles. These are a shorter pole with a C-clip at the top and a little rubber cap at the bottom. These go up at the end of the bed, up near the pillows, and these are our spreader poles to tension the roof between the bow, bow poles. Now, we can unlatch and open up the camper. Before we open up, we have to undo all six over center latches. There's two on each side, left and right, and two at the back, so six in total. When you get your camper, it will have these little gold linch pins that secure these, stop them from accidentally coming undone. Remove the linch pins, then go around and unlatch all six latches. When you do it, make sure you bring them out of the way so they can't re-hook up, and then we can start the process of opening it up. I've undone my winch strap and left enough slack so I can now go and hook it up to the eyelet at the back of the camper. Once that's connected, what I want to do is make sure I'm not putting undue force on the hardware, the strap, or any of that sort of thing. So what I do is grab one of the number six poles. So what I do is lift up the lid, place the pole underneath there, and rest the base on the spare tire here. Now what I can do is take up the slack in the winch, come back, remove this pole so it doesn't fall and chip the paint or anything. What it does, it gives me a lot less acute angle when the winch is pulling on the hardware. So rather than pulling in sheer across the top of the lid, it's actually pulling at an angle, which gives the winch a lot more leverage and puts a lot less stress on all the hardware. Something that's really important not to do when you're winching a camper open is stand in line with the winch strap. They're a nylon webbing. They store a lot of energy when they're under load. And if the unthinkable happens and you have some kind of hardware failure, that hook will come back faster than a Brett Lee bouncer. So never ever stand in that line. Stand off to the side and do your winching that way. Right now, all I'm gonna do is take the weight of the lid so I can go and remove that pole. When you do this, you've got two choices. What you can do is hook the rear winch up and run out some slack before you raise this lid. And once the lid comes past top dead center and the weight wants to bring it forward, you can use the rear winch to lower it down gently. Or if you're a bit bigger like me, what you can do is manually bring the lid down the rest of the way. Thank you. 
Now, what you'll need to do is find the little triangle key. It's like the old train keys, if you remember the red rattlers. It's got a little recessed triangle in there. This is the one to open up the door. So put that in, turn each lock counterclockwise, and that will release it. Now we can put our door open and set up our steps. Pull the steps out, full extension, and lower it down. They'll sit there nice and stable. Now I can grab my spreader poles and little upright poles and start putting up the main tent. To give myself some space to work when I do jump inside, I'll raise the rear bow pole, which is pretty easy. Just grab the canvas, push it up like that. It's on gas struts, so it will try and hold itself up. And what I do is pull all my canvas out so it's not tucked in there and doesn't foul the poles when I try and raise them up. The process for setting up the tent now is to raise the main bow pole. That's the vertical one nearest the door. Once that's up, generally in the right position, the next step would be to extend the forward bow pole, which runs over the bed and up on an angle. Once they're up, I can go to the rear of the camper and raise the rear bow pole until the canvas is taut. At this point, I zip up the main door to do the final adjustments and put the spreader bars in. If all the doors and windows are zipped up, once you've got it right, the camper looks spot on, the tent sits at the right angle, all the zippers will work perfectly. There'll be no weird angular stresses on them at all. And you'll be ready to go on and put up the awning or the annex if you choose to do so. You may have noticed that the tropical roof isn't sitting right. That's deliberate. The first time you set up your camper trailer, you want to slacken off the tropical roof. Then set up the main tent so it's spot on. No sags in the roof, no problems. Get it square, then come back and address the tropical roof. What happens then is it'll sit correctly and don't over adjust it so it pulls the main tent in and creates sags where water can pull. To make it easy, just to make sure I'm not stressing the canvas, I use a spreader pole to just push the roof pole over. Get it up like that. Now I can go to the back, then the front and adjust it so it sits spot on. Now, if it's your first setup, you're ready to season the tent. So you can wet it all down, wet down the roof underneath the tropical roof as well. Then that'll make sure all the cotton swells, fills any pinholes and fills up the stitching to make your tent even more waterproof. And that folks is how you set up the main tent on the Explorer forward fold. Remember the golden rules, don't overextend the poles and stress the canvas. You want the canvas to sit taut not tight. You don't want the stitching to open up and see daylight through the stitch holes. For more information, go to marketdirectcampers.com.au and check out our YouTube channel.